Welcome to the Wham Gonzo Podcast. We are live on September 3rd, 2024. Coming to you with episode 123 in the house. One, two, three. One, two, three. This isn't just another period for the description on this one. You know what I mean, Tyler? Period on the description? Yeah, just, you know, the description of the podcast lately. Just been oh, periods. Yeah. Period. Just like period. On period. <laughs> it's like, you know, the, the one chicks, the like, street slang. It's like, period, boo. Like, yeah, this ain't just a period, boo. You know, and I'm not talking about monthly menstrual cycles either. You know, this is some... We might. We got some fucking... <laughs> coming in real quick. We might be. Man, I just wanted to say real quick. So, man, uh, looks like Future's dropping a new mixtape soon called Mixtape Pluto. Gee. <laughs> Who produced... Gee. What type of perk music is this? <laughs> what type of Travis Scott is this? That's like Cardi Travis Scott. It is. Dang. Travis Cardi Scott. Travis Cardi. Travis Cardi. <laughs> Playboy Travis. So I'm kind of geeked about that. Literally, the mixtape is just called Mixtape Pluto. Dang. So, like, I'm pretty geeked up Back on about his bullshit. That. I don't know if it's an album, and the album's called Mixtape Pluto. I think that's Dang. what it is. It's Who's supposed the to be producer? Like, uh, you got Metro. I think it's ATL Jacob. Damn. Yeah. That's going to be some banger. Yeah, it's ATL Jacob. And then there's a 808 Mafia boss on it, too, Mafia. as well. So it's a collab. And then Damn. Southside on the track Southside is also going to be on track. it, too. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be Damn. heat. It's going to bring back this that sounds like, like Purple Rain vibe. You know what I mean? That or like Monster era. Sounds like Monster to me. Damn. Yeah, I'm just like, damn, that's kind of hype. Because it's like, you know, I fucked with the the new Travis Future albums. It's like, you know. Travis Future album? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean, right? Just no. like, we don't fuck with you. Or we don't trust we you. We still don't trust yeah, you. Yeah, it's like, those were hype and all that. But like, this is like, uh, going to get back to the like roots. There was like two songs on one, the whole two back albums to the that roots, were good. But Future's pushing forward. Yeah, yeah. I, want some like, I want some like drug dealer junkie mm. at the dough type shit. That's what I mean. Like, we Fez still. at the dough junkie. Is that the dope? You know what I mean? It's like thought we were in the drought. Uh, in the drought. You know what I mean? Just With sort of like that. I no Drake features you know, either, probably. That one type, too. You know, it's like, I just need my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> He's just talking about lean. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about that. I don't really get too hyped over new music too much, and it's just like, that's going to be good. When does this shit come out? Mm. Uh,. What do you got, Nate, on it? I need Cardi to drop some. Bro, he's going to be Cardi. on it. He's like, a big. Riding dick like a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> no release date. Yeah, no release confirmed, date. But the rapper's website says it's about to drop. Dang. Oh, it's about to drop. We got mixtape Pluto before GTA 6. Dang. For real. I'm just like, man, that's kind of cooking up, you know. That's like the fall vibe, you know. Throw on the flannel, the jeans, and play like, some fuel. fuel. <laughs> just like going to slide the place. I hope it's like his old shit. That's what I mean. It's like I'm just like I'm itching. Just like got it. people shooting and itching, and at the same time, I mean, like we all know when he dropped the song, fucking Nate. What's his like number one banger? What is it called again? It's just like. Her, sit. It, Mark, yeah, that song like you know how that put on for like every hood and every Bro. square block that thing got like a billion views yeah like it's gonna be like that like you know how like future <laughs> is the sound of the hood <laughs> yeah like those cars with spe or speakers on the outside <laughs> <of> the <laughs> You sound that's like the like, shit's breaking. <laughs> that's it. You gonna break a window? That's it. That's literally it. Like that's fenders falling off and shit. <laughs> Break dust everywhere. Like they're whips in 03 and they're like, we going to pimp this shit out for her. Gee. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just like, 
A lot of people been breathing that brake dust, man. Yeah, you it's seen that. There. You sent that shit. I was it's like, out there. bro, I mean, I knew that was true. It ain't just wiping the brake dust off your rims. It's like. Even Joe Rogan had to tap in. Yeah. It's like, that's like real. you breathing in the brake dust on the I-95. And, and that wasn't just fucking AI Rogan. That was real Rogan. AI Rogan. He was talking about it. Like, it's true. Like, there's just brake dust particles in the air. Like, mercury. Bro, we're just huffing that shit. Oh, yeah, just think about being in, like, fucking high traffic areas. It's just, like, it's when you get out to get those you break dust. clean areas. You smell the air. It smells different. No pollution. That's nice. We got a Paluto mixtape. Yeah. So I got to I gotta tap into the, what's, what's the, uh, what's Rogan Diaz's guy who's, like, Whoever he is, so the guy who's the biggest conspiracy theorist of like the comedy scene of the fucking podcast world. There's a lot of them. I forget the main one. He's Eddie Bravo, Tim Dillon. Tim Dillon. One of the two. Yeah. So there's this fucking, uh, there's this one I've been seeing, right? And it's pretty much, so it's pretty much saying that uh, in the UN building, there's includes a map of the flat earth, right? So this is one of those flat earth mm. conspiracy theories, right? We've heard a lot Sounds about like the, Eddie Bravo. the flat earthers, you know what I mean? And it's saying that like that there's multiple continents outside of the Antarctic ice wall. Damn. Yeah, like if you try to go on Apple Maps and you try to like scroll down to Antarctica, it just stops you. Wait, there's no like you can't. And it's trying to say that there's is continents on the outside of the Antarctic wall. Probably. And that, like, yeah, it's like we're kept away from it. Like, we're imprisoned by the wall. <laughs> and it's like this whole world. And it's saying that there's, like, multiple other continents on the outside of the Antarctic wall. And no one gets to know about them. Who would want to? Exactly. Right? It's saying that there is other people out there. There is other, like... Have they got internet? I don't know. You can find them. It's a very big conspiracy theory that's just kind of been floating around, and I'm like, damn, that's pretty wild. So there's this guy I've seen. You know, he talks about it a little bit. Jeez. So, like, Sounds this is like what they're Hitler trying speech. to say, right? Like, this is Earth right there. And there's, like, Earth. The, the ice, you know what I mean? There's these other fucking continents. And it's saying that the world is much bigger than we think it is, really. We're just that little speck. And that there's all these other fucking ones and with their own. Don't own forget world. space. Let me get this straight. We've upgraded from a round earth to a flat earth, and now from a flat earth to a much larger round earth. This TikTok slideshow starts off with an image of the ice wall, an image of our earth surrounded by an ice wall with a bunch of other land masses, and the claim that we don't live on a flat earth, just a much bigger earth with a bunch of these other land masses around us, similar to what we live in currently. And they're so close to just arriving to the conclusion that the earth is just round. They're saying, therefore, it seems flat, but that's because of the scale. That's exactly why the earth seems flat, is because we live on a big earth. We're so small compared to it. Anyways, the ice wall theory is pretty easily disproven by people that have flown over the North Pole. These were some of the first two people to do it. Richard Byrd and Floyd Bennett, who did this back in 1926. Not to mention, if the Earth were this scale, gravity would absolutely crush us, seeing as this is seven times the size of Jupiter. So no, again, we don't live on a flat Earth. We don't live on a mega Earth. We just live on the good old-fashioned Earth. So there's a hmm. guy who's exactly right. He's like, hmm. you're all fucking wrong. It's and how do we know he's right? Exactly. So it's just like, you know, I don't dive into conspiracy theories too much, but I was like, I think I was up past midnight, and that was kind of what yeah. was doing it for me, you know? It was a little trippy. So then, uh, you know, I went I went into another little fucking rabbit hole, right? I went down the loophole. I went down the fucking slide, you know, the water park slide where you, like, don't see light for a while. You're just going through it. And uh, it was exactly this. Monster Energy has taken it way too far this time. And for all of you who call those conspiracy theorists calling this company demonic, well, this just proves we're right because their new flavor, Bad Apple, is literally mocking the Bible. So this is supposed to be Eve, and she's biting the fruit. And on the fruit is the monster sign, which actually means 666 in Hebrew. You can look Jeez. it up. And then just read the back of it. 
Tempted to try? We hope so. Juice Monster Bad Apple isn't like anything you've ever had before. Forget your regular apple juice. Bad Apple is so good, it's almost worth getting kicked out of the Garden of Eden over. Mocking the Bible as a marketing strategy is absolutely wild. Now you know why Israel Adesanya, one of the most popular UFC fighters, whenever he takes the ring before a fight, he marks the monster Jeez. sign with a cross, and he always calls out fighters for signing contracts to monsters, saying that they sold their soul. I've said Dang. it before, and I'll say it again. There's an agenda behind everything in this life, and 2024 is the year that a lot of people wake up because it's all in your face now. Monster. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Then Remember he added, what Young Thug said? You know, you heard, you heard the, the new earth that they found. It's a new earth, but it's like 10 times bigger than this earth. It's the same that this guy. It's earth, though. It's earth. It, it looks identical. Everything is the same. You ain't you heard that yet? It's ten times bigger than Earth, but it's Earth. It's another Earth. They just found another planet. It looks just like Earth, though. So they call it Earth. I'm proud of that. Yeah, they got a second Earth. For just how it faded at the they end. Got if a you could go Earth. back to that last second, it was like Earth, 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 Earth. It looks just like Earth, though. So they call it Earth. I'm proud of that. Up. So yeah, I don't really got know. A second I, mean, or, I mean, that kind of like excited <laughs> me the other day. I was really starting to think about it, right? Because you've talked to me about that. Like, what did you say his name was? Tim what? Tim Dill. Tim Dillman. I don't think he's not the Earth guy, the space guy. The flat Earth guy is Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo. Yeah. Eddie Bravo. What's up with Eddie Bravo? He's big on conspiracies. Yeah. He's an MMA guy. He's just a guy. I think he's a comedian too. Or he dabbles. Damn. But yeah. So I mean, I don't know, man. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. That one was like those the, the, just like a couple conspiracy theories were just kind of like tweaking at my brain. Like tweak, 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 tweak. Would you find Nate? Yeah, we can we can uh watch a little clip. Oh oh clip with the Yvonne. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Theo's ad. Yeah, he's got to make a dollar. Oh, he yeah, got to make a dollar. With another one. better when your stuff is protected under our roof. Did you really? I'm kind of with you with a lot of stuff. There and I'll is. be honest with you, I'm not fully on board with Flat Earth yet. That's a hard one. It I, is a hard I, one. I was violently opposed to it. I was mad at people that would bring it up. Right. And that's normal. Sounds like Steve. Every, everybody that's into Flat Earth... Mm -hmm. It was very hard for them to get into it and admit it. It took like a year and a half for them to admit it. Well, first it was okay, just so black dudes, basically. I feel like they were into it at first. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, like I was violently opposed to it. But the one thing about Flat Earth, you punch in Flat Earth mm -hmm. on YouTube, you're going to get all the debunkers. The debunkers. Like, why is there so many people working against it? It's crazy. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's, it, they're doing the exact same thing to Flat Earth that they do to 9-11, JFK, Iran-Contra. They got people producing debunking videos. Yeah. Like, why are you doing that if it's so stupid? It's, not, it's so stupid. Why? You, could, you should ask yourself, why is there a debate about it? How is there a debate still in this time with the internet? Why are people, and people are, there's so many people that are afraid to admit that they're looking into flat earth because yeah. of the amount of ridicule you get. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. I was, I was quiet about it, but I was against it. I was trying to, uh, you know, people kept coming up to me, have you, have you looked into flat earth? I'm like, dude, mm. shut the fuck, fuck up. Yeah, you're crazy. Back. This is like yeah. a couple of years ago. I'm like, shut yeah. the fuck. Joe, I was on Joe's podcast and he would bring it up. Goes, dude, people are so dumb. They, there's some people out there still believe the earth is flat. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are they, really? There's people like that? And this was just a few years ago. I'm in and my now form. here, and now you're, yeah, now and you're I, Then I, I kept it. trying to debunk it. Like right. I would get in arguments with people and that's the typical story. Everyone's trying yeah. to debunk it. The, the one thing that made me realize something was wrong is I always believed that the moon the moon landings were faked. And that's what I Same. thought NASA was. I thought NASA was in charge of the moon missions. Mm -hmm. I didn't think oh, they yeah, were in charge all of all space too. information. Like, I thought it was there was made all these scientists studio. everywhere and they're they're figuring out, you know, shit about the universe. And uh, um, once I once I once I I, I, I uh, was looking into it, 
and I realized, oh shit, all these pictures of Earth from space, they're all CGI composites, and NASA <laughs> admits it. They go, oh, you know what, we take the images and all the, we take this information strips, and then we get an artist to put together. I'm like, wait a minute, you guys aren't even getting real pictures of the fucking Earth from space? I go, I had the picture of Earth yeah, where's from the space. bootlegs? Yeah. Where's yeah. the fucking space bootlegs? And you get that, you get the Earth on your iPhone, that's the default. The default picture. I go. I I, I looked at Earth wow. every day on my iPhone. I see that. I go. How are you gonna tell me the Earth's flat? I see it. So the guy said, "Go." He goes, "I got a, I got a, mas a master's in engineering. Look into it." And so I did. And I realized, damn. Then I started tracing these pictures back back to NASA. Then I realized, wait a minute, NASA, NASA is controlling all our space information. Mm -hmm. I go, NASA does that? I thought they just did the moon and the space shuttle. Yeah. And NASA's know. gutter, dude. They've yeah. been around for 60 yeah. years. They've been to the moon allegedly four times. No, six times. Six times. Yeah, six times. And then they destroyed all the technology? Yeah. Come on, man. Dude, that's Come the on, worst. Man. If that Come was on, a man. business, you'd be like, this Come is on, a... Man. You, yeah. guys are, they, you know what? They had to say they destroyed it. What are they going to say? Yeah, what else are they going to say? What are they going to let people... So, they, they destroyed all the video, all the raw... Yeah, so I actually... Uh, this is so. This is from Californication by uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I stole the song name from Schoolboy Q. Here we are. There you go. So it's just like, damn, that was the Red Hot Chili Peppers in fucking, what, like 90 fucking something right there? They've been saying it's fake since 69. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's kind of, it's pretty crazy, right? It wouldn't Stanley take much Cooper. for them to do a rocket launch, of course, like into the fucking air, but it's like. How could they even televise the moon landing at the time? It just seems like they wouldn't have that technology, you know? Yeah, so it's like, I don't know, man. Like, that is like. Like it's going way beyond just the Bigfoot, Lake Loch Ness, fucking, you know, Area 51 and shit. Like, it's like... Cause at that time, it was the arms race. We had to be better than Russia. Mm. So we had to make the world believe that we made it there. Exactly. So Russia would chill out. So it's like, I don't know, man. Like, Sputnik. Yeah, the International Space Station up there. The ISS. So I, Russian, what's the... What is that? Their rocket Sputnik. That was yeah, definitely one of them. They tried. They definitely tried. Yeah, some shit we'll never know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, do you think like you know when Trump gets into all the office, you know what I mean? Like, do you think the presidents get access to all the classified information? Yes. Damn. They get to just know shit. <laughs> Yup. <laughs> it's like, let me go down to the library, cocksucker. Yeah. Give me a coffee. Drink a coffee and read the classified <laughs> documents. <laughs> He's like, no shit. I mean, that's like the only thing I'd want to be president for. <laughs> it would be like just to have like, you know, a hall pass to go look. It's like, Post up in the library. You know, like the security fucking guard, probably at Elder back in the day, you know, be like, where's your hall pass? I don't even I'm, think we I'm had going a security to the bathroom, guard. Bro. You know what I mean? Like. You had to have, like, a hall pass, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we had those at Oak Hills. But, like, just to have a hall pass to the decla or the classified information and shit, just to, like, sniff through it a little bit, you know, smoke a cigar and mm -hmm. clip through the files. That'd be fun. Speaking of the uh, ISS, I was just looking it up, I guess. Apparently, do you guys know there's there's people, uh, like, stuck in space? Jeez. Oh, still trying that. to figure out, like, how to get them home. They Damn. can't, like... They're um, the uh, the is spacecraft. That, like, is that like technical some, what, what's issues? The news come from is it like USA Today? Or Elon on it's on space.com. Space.com. That sounds <laughs> official. They own the web. They uh, they yeah, bought the, the URL. Danica Patrick. Fuck. I guess there was uh, two astronauts <laughs> that were expected to spend ten days in space Gee. after their launch in June. And like, bro, we they're stuck. still up there. Oh, I seen a meme about this. Actually, you're right. I heard about this. I saw this meme that it was like, it's like we still have several days to buy over thirty thousand monkey suits and then trip the people out when they come back to Earth. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> They're like, you've been gone for eighty years. <laughs> it's like the fucking Planet of the Apes. They come back and shit. <laughs> Bro, just imagine being stuck in space. 
What if you run out of food and you're just fucked? Oh, I know it. You're just fucked. I wonder what sex in space would be like. Or you're just whacking off into the air. <laughs> it's just like... Your fucking jizz your fucking is just cells. floating. <laughs> <laughs> Try to give a pitch of facial in space. Not a good look. Some people are stuck in space. So, so what started these conspiracies where you were on the reels a little too late one night? He's doing his noises. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> it's old Pesci laughing. <laughs> Jeez, that one's a little dry. You need to lube up your throat. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I was just I was just late night scrolling pretty deep and it was weird. Yeah. Like that became the algorithm that mm-hmm. late at night. So it was like they're trying to fuck with me, my brain. <laughs> He's like, it's true. I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> just some guy with like a picture. Like, I just this picture is like a dude earth. downtown wearing a Reds t shirt. Like a big, like fucking grizzly fuck type of dude. Like, I saw it on TikTok. It had to be it's true. On Facebook. Well, my wife swears by TikTok. She sends Gee. me the videos all the time. I don't have the app or nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm just on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's out there. Yeah, that shit's definitely out there. Uh, so tell me why I was uh, I was out fucking work today, right? And I got a random call from like fucking I don't even know what, where the fuck was it was like Arizona. I think mm. it was like Phoenix, Arizona, or some shit. Uh, no, it was Orlando, Florida. And I answered it, and this guy just fucking answers real guy. He's like, "Hey, this is Corbin calling from Hilton. How is it going, sir?" And I was like, "Oh, I know what this is about." This is about the Hilton Grand Vacations timeshares. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So you want to tell me that I have the opportunity to go somewhere where you guys are going to put me down in front of a seminar and I'm going to have to psychologically keep telling people no about a timeshare so I can get a three free day vacation (laughs) and have to keep denying it and sit through the seminar and eventually, then you guys are going to guarantee me that it's three something nights at this special resort. But in reality, I'm not going to get the room that you're guaranteeing. And it's actually Dang. not going to be at this resort. And he's like, I'm just going to hang up the phone now, Cameron. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, like I already know about timeshares and shit. So, like, I pretty much just, like, fucking just What's made the dude, scam. Yeah, like, I literally just, like, told him the scam to his own face. And what like, is the scam? So, a timeshare scam. Nate, do you want to, do you want to, like, validate on what a timeshare scam is? Um, it's, it's pretty much, uh, it's like a step up from Indian tech support being like, you owe the IRS $3,000, give me your social security and your credit card information, and we will take care of it. It's like a step up from that, so old people actually buy because it's usually like American people that are like selling these scams. Targeted. Yeah. Um, do you you got an accurate description pulled up? Um, timeshares res- resale scam artists. Oh yeah. Call sellers of timeshares posing as a reseller or real estate agent. The scam artist claims to have a buyer for the timeshare guarantee. He can mm-hmm. sell the timeshare for a good price. Mm-hmm. The fuck? So yeah, it's pretty much a thing where they um, they guarantee you it's like buy buy into a timeshare. It's the best thing ever. And what a timeshare is is it guarantees you like one full week. It's exactly how we stayed at the Tahiti Village in Vegas, right through that raffle I won. That guy got stuck into a timeshare and he has to pay like several thousands of dollars a year, and like like he's stuck in it. You can't get out of it once you sign the contract. There is no way to get out of a timeshare unless somebody buys your timeshare from you. So people keep going and going. It's like a never-ending loophole of like once this timeshare has been sold, you have to buy it. You have to buy it. And like then it's like pretty much under obligation. You need somebody to try to buy your nights off of you. And um, so what they do, though, like through I've gotten contacted by Holiday Inn before because I've stayed at a Holiday Inn. And then this one was Hilton Grand Vacations, right? The Hilton Grand Vacations are right by the Trump Hotel in Vegas. And they're also all around Florida and whatnot. 
but they try to make you sit down in front of a seminar, right? They guarantee you three free nights at this beautiful Hilton Grand Vacations Resort, no matter where it's at. But the catch is you have to go to the seminar. That's like an eight hour seminar. And uh, they pretty much, it's just a constant trying to talk you into buying this. And then uh, after like the f first seminar or whatever, then they bring in you into a room with a sales Jeez. specialist. And the sales specialist is using like all of their business tactics, trying to like persuade you into getting this like, oh, it's a very good thing. You can get a, a guaranteed, you know, week out of your uh, year. You get to go down to this place. It's beautiful. Everything's paid for. And then like um, if that person, you're just like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Then they bring in another sales mm -hmm. specialist who's like above that sales specialist and then he keeps trying to like talk you into it and like make you feel Maybe. bad about yourself and shit they pressure you and they keep pressuring you into it mind control yeah yeah exactly and it's one of the most fucked up things that people can do because if you get an old person on the phone oh, that's easy. They, exactly and that's where they fucking lock people into it and I so like i'm already well aware you. because i actually fell victim to it last summer to the holiday Inn one Jeez. and i was like oh okay it was like three guaranteed nights down in florida for like it was like 80 bucks or whatever and included airfare. And I was like, damn, this sounds like a great deal or whatever. And they're like, yeah, we also will give you holiday end points for doing this and stuff. It will be awarded to your account. And uh, then like after like I fucking I, I was like just about to like pay for hmm. it. And uh, and then I'm like, this is a fucking scam. I was like. Because they sent me this thing and it was like describing the thing to me. I was like, yeah, this is fucked up. And so it's it, never buy a timeshare. That is the worst thing ever. Either fucking like get an Airbnb, get a hotel, or fucking rent a fucking condo or something if you have the funds. It's like timeshares are the biggest scam to the fucking middle American that there is, dude. Well, there's legitimate timeshares, not just scams. Yeah, but they are all like a fucking scam because you have to pay X amount a year. And it's like, it's it's just dumb. It's absolutely dumb because they'll try to tell you you can't go on certain dates and shit like that. Like you'll want to go on a holiday. You can't go on holidays. You got to go like randomly. But it, I just thought it was fucking hilarious though. I just psyched the dude out. Like I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, totally just fucked his day up yeah why would they be giving you something for free exactly there's nothing that's nothing free in life i'm free other than this podcast that you are brought to you by the podcast it's brought to you by podcast exclusive so uh in other news though we have um a couple things going on here uh so for all of you bangles fans um my Yep, Bangle. We uh we have a special, special, special halftime show for the Bengals opening season this year. And uh so just after his own world record, Joey Chestnut will be the halftime entertainment at the Bengals opener this Sunday versus the New England Patriots, where Joey Chestnut will be eating a bunch of Queen City sausages. Brats. Yes. Um, Who's Joey Chestnut? Um, Nate. The hot dog eating guy that wins mm -hmm. all the Nathan's hot dog eating contests. Mm -hmm. You know, on uh, fucking uh, Coney Island in New Jersey. Now I know. Yeah. So he's going to be there doing what? Eating hot dogs? Eating, well, it sounds like Queen it's City. It's the Bengals Bratwurst contest? Yeah, Bengals Bratwurst, actually. Brats. Does the guy ever puke it up while he's eating it? Probably. Yeah, so we're literally going to have Joey Chestnut just downing a bunch of fucking bratwurst glizzies. It's hmm. a 5v1 Oktoberfest bratwurst eating contest. 5v1. Damn. Hmm. We have five fans, I guess, and then versus Joey Chestnut. Mm -hmm. So fucking just fuck yourself in the Wiener middle of the eating gangbang. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> that's gonna be uh, funny. That's what the Bengals. They could couldn't pull. come up with something else. <laughs> it's, uh, that's what yeah. the Bengals are pulling. Watch the hot dog fucker. Let's <laughs> <laughs> bring some New Jersey to Central. Jeez, that's what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I flew here from fucking New York. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be good. I wonder if they're gonna have any bets. 
for Joey Chestnut, like over 27 dogs. <laughs> like over 27. Take the over, take the under. Under 31, over 27, <laughs> some shit. Like, I bet you you can on steak or something, you know, like a fucking Canadian. They won't have that on DraftKings, maybe, but. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> take a fucking over on my dogs. <laughs> he's like over 17, he's going to pound. No, I mean, maybe it'll be fun to watch. I don't know. I mean, it's just going to be funny when you're at your local sports bar or fucking you're at your, you know, Look friends and family party watching. Look at that guy. Everyone's going to just be staring at the <laughs> TV. <laughs> he devoured. I guess there was a Netflix Labor Day event in Dang. Vegas. Oh, my God. Uh, he devoured 83 all beef hot dogs and buns Jeez. in 10 minutes. He's going to die. Fucker's going to die. <laughs> Three the guy in second, 866. All right, if he's eating 80-something, the over's got to be like fucking 73, 78, <laughs> some shit. If the it's over. a 5v1, how's he going to win? He's got to beat the five other people. I guess they're going to be amateurs, too. It's not going to be Probably. like, what's the other fucking, what was the other guy? Kobayashi. Mm-hmm. Kobayashi. He was the other. Yeah, that's who we beat. Yeah. Kobayashi was the other fucking, like, fucking dude. I think he was, like, Japanese or Chinese or something. I think he was Jap. Yeah. So that's what's going to be going on at the Bengals halftime for the season opener. We got a fucking Sounds glizzy fun. eating contest. Hmm. Yeah. And so for uh, the home opener, though, for all of you sports betters out there, so – it was a good year last year for all the sports bettors here in Ohio. You know, we had all the apps come up. We had FanDuel. We had DraftKings. We had Bet365. We had fucking BetMGM. We had Caesars. We had fucking Points Bet. We had fucking Miami Valley. We had fucking M- uh, we had MGM. E- e- we had Barstool that turned into ESPN Bet. We had Fanatics. There was a bunch of sports gambling apps. You know, everyone got all their free bets. Um, and now everyone's like, fuck, there's no more free bets. Well, just wait because there's just more. Wait. A new sports betting app just came to Ohio now, and you bet $25, you get 150 in free bets. And that is called Bally Bet. So if everyone's familiar with Bally Sports that would, uh, you know, broadcast the Reds games, they have came out with their own sports betting app, Bally Bet. And they're like going under. They're like bankrupt in broadcasting. So they're like, let's just make a betting app now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, there was the other one, Bet Fred, that came out not too Bet long Fred. ago. Um, if you didn't get that one, there was that one. But yeah, so we have Bally Bet now. So for all you Bengals fans for week one, uh, get in there. Bet $25, place it on a single or a parlay. If it wins or loses, you still get rewarded 150 in free bets. That hmm. is six $25 free bets. Go and place them on week one game versus the fucking Patriots. I already got a couple riding. So this week's Gonzo Bet of the Week. Um, is not just going to be picking the Reds or to fucking money line. We actually are giving out a free bet this week. Jeez. That's right, a free parlay. So if anyone is ready for the free parlay, stay tuned in a couple of seconds, and we are going to get you your free bet pick of the week by Gonzo. We got to call someone up and be like, you just want a free bet. <laughs> Let's give it to him. I fucking will. <laughs> I'm trying to think. All right, let's see here. Yep, Cameron quit sports betting. All gambling for about, what, a week? Maybe uh, a week yeah, or so. Yeah, fucking, I fucked up. I got to take another vow, though. It's bad. It's a vow. bad addiction. All right, so this week's Gonzo Bet of the Week. It is a plus 1,300 six-leg parlay. We have, all right, Money line Cincinnati Bengals. That right there was placed. Um, we got a fucking touchdown score. T. Higgins to score a touchdown at any time during the game. Total passing yards by the player Jero Burrow over 249 and a half passing yards. Total rushing yards by the player Joe Burrow over eight and a half rushing yards. Total touchdowns over four and a half total touchdowns in the game. And also total touchdown passes thrown by the player Joe Burrow over one and a half. That is your free Gonzo mm-hmm. Bet of the Week. $25 on Bally Bet will potentially pay out $325. Mm-hmm. 
That has been your free Gonzo bet of the week. That so wins, I'll get... kiss your ass. Mm. I mean, I'm seriously, I might. So we'll have to touch back on next week's. We'll have to see what the bet of the week did. We are very excited to give out a bet of the week. We'll continue to do so through each week of the NFL season. Hogan, shout out. All right. Now it also is time for the fucking next segment calling 1 800 Gambler. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Ohio Problem Gambling Helpline. If you or someone you know is experiencing a problem related to gambling, please hold for assistance from the next available specialist. We are interested in your feedback. Would you be willing to have us call you back within a few minutes after the call to answer three brief questions about your experience today? Be like, I'm gambling on my phone right now. I can't stop. Can't stop. That bet online AG shit. I'm fucking placing penny bets. I only got $10 left in my name. Place a 54 leg par on the bank. <laughs> Thank you for holding. An information specialist will assist you shortly. Information specialist. I want to hear what he'll say. Like, we need to stop right now and get to a meeting. <laughs> I've never called this. This is like the pamphlet <laughs> that's on top of the ATM in the casino. When the shit. fun stops. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a sunset picture. <laughs> That's when you're down bad in Vegas. Man, for as big as a place it should be, you can't believe there ain't nobody answering immediately. Shit, there's a lot of gamblers. It's like I'm about to jump off the fucking crew, <laughs> cocksucker. You better answer. There's a lot of addicts out there. Can I, I get your name? I would answer. We're going for a minute 30 strong Can I right get now. your name and your birthday, sir? Yeah, can I have your social security card followed with your address, your date of birth, no, your can age, I help your you today? weight, your eye color, your hair color, everything, everything. Have you ever drank drugs or alcohol? Right now, our call volume is a little higher than normal. Sounds like. If you would like to hold your place in line and receive a call back when it is your turn, All right. press one now. Do that. Not- press one. All right. Gamblers Anonymous press doesn't one? want to help us. No, nah, it's cool. They'll still probably call back. You'll get like an unknown ID call. They ain't going to call calling in from fucking college football and NFL. Oh, sorry. my God, already. More like Japanese baseball at 5 a.m. Yeah, mm. so that's uh, that's a different. Should have requested a call back. Damn, they would have really fucking barred me from the casinos. I just want to hear what they have to say. Like, I can't stop gambling. I know. I just wanted to be like, so my little nephew Joey. Just turned 21. I mean, that fucker's on online AG. He's fucking on Bally Sports. He's on fucking Hot Rock. He's on Hollywood. I mean, I don't know what to do about it. He sold his fucking mama's muffler. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to so bad. They didn't give me the opportunity to do the bit. So that's a fucking problem. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. all right. We'll go to Legion after this. We'll fucking go. Yeah, I want to know what their advice is. Like, sir, you need to stop gambling. Get him to a meeting. <laughs> sir, you need a higher power for this. <laughs> I can't stop ringing the slot machine. It just goes bing, bing, bing. I see it in my sleep. I can't get away I from it. I think I want a 12 grand jackpot and then I wake up and I'm in debt. <laughs> <laughs> I maxed out all my credit cards. I sold my dog. <laughs> <laughs> sold the refrigerator, sold the toaster, sold my F-150. I even sold my sperm. <laughs> I sold my seed. I was down to selling <laughs> sperm. <laughs> my wife left me. I lost my job. I lost my house. I'm homeless. I'm currently in the casino looking for the little 12 cent cash out vouchers right now so I can get a hot dog. <laughs> it's like I'm just mining the floors in there, you know. I found it I found 283 the other day. That was a good day. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Damn, we really needed to hear from them. Damn, I'm for real pissed. I know I should have done the call back. Hell yeah. 
But do I call back again, though? I don't know. I don't I'll know. give it a try while you're still talking. That's cool. That's cool. That's a date. Yeah, we still got some goose to go around. Yeah. Great goo. Great goo. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. You know, while well, you're calling, I'm going to call another one. Right now. Jeez. All right, while we wait. Right, fine. Who's this? This is BetMGM at the bank. Hello. Thank you for calling BetMGM Sportsbook. The king of sportsbooks. Please listen to the options for choosing the following. For our location and hours of operation, please press 1. For our food and beverage program. I bet you it forwards me to somebody in Vegas. Vegas. I bet you they don't fucking answer. Bad MGM Vegas. I've never even <coughs> been in there yet. Bad MGM Cincinnati. This is Greg. How can I help you? Greg, how's it going, brother? Hey, uh, I was wondering, what's your guys' limits down there? You guys, like, I know some sports books, they got like a six parlay limit. Some other sports books allow 20 legs. Uh, I'm just wanting to know. Parlays. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look. I think we're 20. I will have to double check real quickly. Give me one quick second. You're good, Greg. You're good. Yeah, I think she's on Wall Street. Uh, actually, we believe it's 15. It is 15. Okay. I knew DraftKings did 20. I'll make so. sure you guys did 15. Okay. Um, I'm thinking yeah, about coming if down. You, if you come in, it, yeah. Actually, yeah if, you, if you come in, we can double check it and whatnot. But I believe it's, it's either 15 or 20, one of those two. 15 or 20. Okay. I was wondering what's the max limit you guys have in there? I was thinking about pulling up with a couple Suburbans, you know, with some cash and, uh, you know, placing one. Because, I mean, you're the closest thing to Vegas, and I don't trust Hard Rock. Yeah. Uh, what kind of sports would you be betting? Just wondering. Week one, Bengals versus the New England Patriots. That's not Bengals week one. All right. Uh, so opening day lines looks like we have two, thousand, two grand limit for slides. Slides, thousand dollars for totals. Two days out, it's four grand. Uh, day of, so day of game, uh, the max play will be twenty thousand dollars for sides and then five grand for totals. Okay. Uh, looks like that's Dave. Uh, never mind. That's uh, college football betting limits. I'll have to double check action real quick with my manager uh, on uh, bet max for NFL. Is that the college lines up? Yeah, you're you're good. I'm friends with Mickey Mace, so I mean, if you you know, I'm 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 probably gonna throw upwards of like fifty thousand down on a on a on a on a bet. So just trying to figure out you know right. what's my best option without having to fly off to Nevada. Yeah, we can definitely take fifty thousand. Uh, in terms of like. So in terms of like uh, parlays and stuff, just uh, He's one not, thing to no, note here sure. is uh, the retail location of BetMGM. We don't offer much of the same game parlays. So like you wouldn't be able to do like Bengals money line with like Jamar Chase over on yards. You'd be able to do it with other games, but we're a little bit more limited in terms of what we offer on uh, sort of like the same game parlays. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, I'll probably just do a straight bet then. I'll probably just do money line Bengals probably fifty thousand. Yeah. That we could def- we should definitely be able to take that. Okay, because I've never been in your facility. I haven't been in there yet. I mean, it, you guys still have, like, a cage, like the MGM out there on the strip? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. And then can you tell me the odds of that right now, 50000 on the money line? I think they were, like, minus 380 the last time I checked or something. The Bengals, give me one quick second. Let me just, let me just push the numbers in my computer real quick. Okay. Crunching number. Like, tell him it's Jeff Ruby, cocksucker. So, I can't, I can't give you the specific pay.
payout on the line, but definitely feel, feel more than free to come down in and definitely get your wager in. Okay, it's going to be for half for me and then half for Jeff Ruby, so we're just trying to get it in. Did you do some, like, Jeff Ruby stuff? Let me Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey, is, it, is this the Gambler's Hotline of Ohio? Yes, it is. Okay, ma'am. So I got a, I got a nephew, and uh, my nephew Joey, he just turned 21. And I don't know how familiar you are with, your, uh, with the, you know, he, he on the bed online, AG. He, he gambling online on his laptop. Uh, he's down there at the Hard Rock uh, in Cincinnati. He's down at the, uh, the Newport of uh, the, the Newport Racing. He's down there at the Hollywood Casino in Lawrenceburg. I mean, he's – they hung up. Yeah, because you're retarded. Like, well, we're so not, much for that. We're not this fuck. He was like, you're with Jeff Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> GM thinks like Jeff Ruby's pulling up to put 50 grand. He's like, yeah, come on down. We'll fucking rob you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be waiting out back for you. <laughs> he just said to his like dude he's working with, he's like, they want to put fifty grand down on the Bengals money line. <laughs> I really want to know what the gambler hotline was gonna say. I mean that just pissed me off. She was definitely not white. I could be retarded. My nephew went to this casino, this casino, this I mean, casino. I was just trying to like figure out what to do and they're like <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to be like, I got a problem. I'm over here fucking counting cards at the hard problem. <laughs> call him, call him <laughs> back, I guess. Wait on hold for five more minutes. Five more just to get it out. And I'll be like, my name is Carl. <laughs> my social's 38872. I'll say that shit. To them. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Ohio Well, <laughs> until then, we got some time. We got a little time. So... Pookie didn't like your your talk. Oh, we're gonna were get talking. her back. I'm just gonna be like, hey, I'm I'm I'm, I'm but, I sold my mom's ring. I sold the fucking Yorkie. <laughs> I'm selling myself on Republic Street right geez, now. I'm selling myself. <laughs> I just want to come back in and just gamble. Jeez. How's the recovery world doing? Uh, it's, it's fucking not bad. Um, steady. Steady. Very steady. Still. Still. Oh, Thank my God. They're calling. Down, down, down. Yep. I haven't, um, yeah, I haven't been gambling. Yeah, that's a good thing. You're pretty smart. I did, I did stop at a dispensary, though. Oh, to shit. To buy some legal weed. How was know? that experience? Pretty quick. Felt like, uh, definitely not like a Vegas dispensary. You don't get to look around and shit. It's like, wait here until we call your name. And then it's mm. like, when we call your name, tell us what you want. And then get the fuck out. Nothing will ever be like Planet 13. So they like, like welcome you in at Planet 13. Like, come and look. Have a good time. I think Ohio's still getting used to being legal and shit. Oh, yeah, they're definitely so like, they're it's still like federally illegal. It's like a fucking, it's like an ATM, basically, mm -hmm. but for weed. Vending machine. But, yeah, I don't know. How they was got some it? Cool How was shit. it? If you were to compare it to uh, some other cannabis you may have had at mm -hmm. legal states, right? Um, well, I got some, like, cheaper stuff. Like thirty, thirty dollars for like two point eight G's or some shit. Two point eight, yeah. But it was like, uh, it was like a sativa. Mm. This is supposed to make you calm. It doesn't make me trip out like our local weed guy does. Mm. He'll he'll make you like trip out a little bit. I was on the Leafly app, looking up strains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them was called Cheetah Piss. That's what that was part of it. I can't do this shit while I'm on the phone. But yeah, I can't. It was just a mixture of some shit, just some basic shit. I'd compare it to like maybe some some high level Delta Eight, nothing too crazy. Really? But 
That's because I didn't go for like the shit that'll fuck you up. I just went for like. You didn't want to feel it the next I, day. I just wanted a calm vibe. I didn't want to like lose my brain. Because you can do that. You scare yourself. The weed's so good, you scare yourself. Heart palpitations. It can happen. But yeah, that was an interesting experience. Dude, that's crazy. Still can't believe it's like late. It's pretty nuts. There's, there's a lot of weird loopholes and shit. Like, pretty much, I think if you still get caught with that stuff, they treat you like a weirdo. Yeah. Like, What's that shit? Where can you smoke recreationally weed or recreational I don't think you, legally? At your house. <laughs> I don't think you can smoke it in the public. It's like Dora at the banks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did walk through the banks this weekend, and there was fucking like a hundred people just smoking bud. Oh yeah! Just right in front of the cops, they were just geeking and tweaking. It's and I was, I was doing a social experiment. I was like, "Damn, weed's legal. No, no fights are going on. Everyone's down here just chilling, just like ha ha, he he, just chilling. No one's fighting. It was pretty cool." Smoking marijuana falls under the state's smoking ban. So, the law prohibits people from smoking plant material in enclosed areas open to the public with exceptions for outdoor patios, smoke shops, and hotel rooms designated have, for smoking. They should have smoking bars for this shit. Just bring your own bud, go to the bar. Dabrigbars.com. Dabrig bar. That's some shit right there. Yeah, I was trying to get some from a dude, but he was like, I only got wax in. And I'm Gee. like, I don't have a fucking crack pipe to smoke that shit, so I'm going to just go to the dispensary. Yeah, if you need a torch, that's some... Uh... All right, you have the problem, not your nephew. Yes, ma'am. How's it, how are you today? I'm great. How can I help you? I'm just, uh, I'm lost. I'm very lost, ma'am. I don't know what to do. I've spent all my money. I've just, I've spent all my money. Okay, are you interested in getting services for gambling, such as counseling? Anything helps, ma'am. Anything helps. I just, I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, the fun has stopped. I'm happy to help you with that. Do you currently have uh, health insurance? I have uh, uh, no health insurance right now. I, I, I even had to stop okay. my health insurance so I could have more money. Okay. Um, let me just get some information from you, and then if you're interested in services, I can give you that inter information as well. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what kind of problems have you, um, has gambling caused for you? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, besides just the constant losing, uh, lost my wife, uh, my house, my, my car got oh, repoed. I think I spoke with you earlier. You were calling about your nephew? No. No? No, ma'am, this is about me. Okay. Problems and financial problems? Yes, ma'am. And what kind of gambling do you engage in? Uh, mostly just slot machines. Um, uh, maybe just a little blackjack. Okay. And how long has this been an issue I for you? I said little blackjack. <laughs> Probably about six years. Okay, have you ever served in the military? No. Unfortunately, no. Okay. Okay, so certain programs are available based on zip code. Can I have your zip code, please? Uh, yes, ma'am. It is 45233. Three. <laughs> and what city is that? Cincinnati. Okay. 
I don't know where four, five, two, three, three is. I know it. Is there real? Close enough. <laughs> Okay, so you said you don't have insurance, so you would need something with a sliding fee? Uh, yes, whatever or it is. Or something that offers no cost? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What, whatever it may be. Okay, do you have um, a pen so that you could take down the information that I have for you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my government phone. Hold on. Okay, I've got the notepad out. Okay, there's Center for Addiction Treatment. <laughs> okay, Center for Addiction Treatment. And their phone number is 513. 513-381-3816672. Six six seven two. Okay, okay. And they provide individual and group therapy to those dealing with gambling issues. They have counselors that specialize in gambling specific clinical experience. Um, they provide on site services as well as telehealth. On site. <clears throat> Pardon me. And they are available by appointment Monday through Friday from eight thirty to eight. Um, so you would be able to reach them now. Um, and again, that number is 513-381-2. Okay. And now what and else? there are no fees. No fees. There's no fees for their gambling I, services. I really appreciate you on this information. I, mm -hmm. I, I do. Um, now, is there a... Is there any other services? Um, so I have some other options, but this is the only option that is no cost. <laughs> no cost. Okay. Okay. And uh, do you guys have like a, I, I don't know, like a, a scholarship fund or something? For what? <laughs> I mean, just to put some food on the table or something. No, you wouldn't call the gambling line for that. You can call your 211 line, and someone will be able to help you with food banks. Okay, I just I just didn't know. Maybe if there was, you know, like a, maybe like a GoFundMe or something. Maybe I could just get a little money in my pocket. I'm having a very hard time hearing you. Yes, ma'am. The, the the 513 number. I got it. <laughs> She's like not fucking with you at all. Damn. She so was, there you she go. Was Everybody who has a gambling time. problem, that's the place you go to. So they basically just connect you with people who can help. Yeah. It's not like the suicide hotline. Like, don't Calm down. Stand, stand by. Stand away from the machine. If we didn't have to like have the probably pull it Zai involved i would definitely call that hotline just to fuck around and find out what it's like just to be like i'm on the roof <laughs> <laughs> i'll jump with my dog i'll do it bro they'd be like we're sending a police officer oh, to your location the people with the trampoline at the bottom <laughs> <laughs> they said he's up on the roof <laughs> they just go up to the 80th floor <laughs> They track your cell phone to its oh, fucking they location. Do. They ping that fuck. They do. They'll be like, he's on the roof. Ooh. Yeah, that so that's a dumb. doozy. Plus, that lady wasn't really biting. She was like, I, I remember I you called me before. You're like, this back your the, nephew. nephew. Be like, we all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family's tweaking. <laughs> My nephew's on fentanyl. <laughs> My nephew fell off. <laughs> Get him to a meeting. <laughs> That's pretty much what they were saying. It was just like, we'll get you to a meeting. Fuck. What do they even tell you about gambling addiction? It's just like, don't put your money in the slot. <laughs> They're like, delete your fucking algorithm. <laughs> delete your betting apps. Don't Ban go yourself to the, from casino. the casino. Don't go to any gas station that sells Jeez. lottery. Make sure you do not it's everywhere. go anywhere. It's everywhere, bro. Even your local Krogas. 
They got the, the lottery machines. Avoid the Krogers. Alcohols everywhere. You need to go somewhere like a Maya. Oh, wait, no. They have the the gambling machine. You need to go to a Walmart. Wait, no. Walmart has the gambling machine. Yeah, you need to go. They even got gambling at Sullivan. <laughs> you, need to, you need to just go puff your food at this m- Jeez, moment in puff time. Puff your food. You need some fucking post, go mate. Puffs. Go puff. I hear something squeaking. Just like the hotline breaks through the door. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> we didn't even say nothing bad. I mean, we're being pretty legit. Cameron's got a problem. I mean, hey. I might scratch my neck to that. For real. It's like, just chill, Eagle Gold. She was like, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Bye. She's just tired of dealing with you. For real, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's like, I hung up on you before. <laughs> well, that was them. That was them. That's what it's like to call the number on the DraftKings like. billboard yep. on 75. And that's when the fun stops. That's what you get. That's all you get, that 513 number, people. And call the other people to call the other people to make this happen. Do yep. that. Yep. And get them to a meeting. Yep. That's about it. Dang. Yeah, so not much else is happening. I mean, the Slice Nights next week Slice on Wednesday, 9 11. Uh, they're going to have the pizza. They're going to have it. It's going to be available to all. There's no discrimination mm. in the pizza serving. So you guys have that at your advantage. Make use of it. Um, let's see here. Other news. Not much other news. Not much going on. Labor Day pass. What'd you do for the fireworks? Oh yeah, that's right. We had the W E B N Rozzy fireworks How did display. That go? I did not go. When I actually tried to call you twice on uh, Sunday, but you didn't return my calls. I was mm-hmm. gonna see if you wanted to maybe like have a triple date. With nah. Nate. Triple date. I don't know. We're gonna try to plan something, but Tyler don't answer phone with Chica. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. I had to ask my own chick about that. She was like, some people just don't answer their phones when they're with their significant other. I was like, damn. I don't like phone calls, period. But if you texted me, I would have responded. That's some shit. Now I know. Now we know. But yeah, I didn't go down to you it. You didn't reply to my text yesterday. Damn. That makes sense. But I had to uh, figure that out. And, uh, yeah, I had to tell my woman. I said, we ain't going down to that crowd. Mm. I said, uh, if you think about it. Yeah, I saw you had Red Lobster. She took me to Red Lobster. That was a good night there, Red Lobster. I wasn't planning on shit. I was pretty tired. If you look at the, uh, the map, this was the map when I was driving through the fireworks. All the roads that were closed due to the fireworks that night. Um, the entire like downtown area was just fucked. Um, so I had to explain to her. I said, uh, "If you know how a place would normally take you five minutes to get somewhere, well, it's going to take you three hours to get out of there." I went up there to Vo. It wasn't too bad. What the fuck is that noise? I went up to Vo. Is that the microphone? I took yeah. the. No. Why is it doing that? I took the Anderson ferry. To mm-hmm. Kentucky, went up to the park. Oh, you took the ferry. That was smart. Yeah, oh, I think but I, I couldn't. T- we couldn't take it back because it closed at nine thirty. Mm. Um, but we just came back. Mm. Seventy-five, seventy-one bridge. There was no traffic. Really? When we came back. Yeah. That's fucking look. nice. Yeah. Damn, that's really sweet, actually. Yeah, I'm actually geeked that you went and got to see it. I was just like, I, I, I don't do well in crowds anymore. I don't know. I don't know. It's anxiety. Too busy there, so yeah. I mean, next just like year, anxiety. next year, if you're I'm looking talking, for a place. Yeah. The view. But like, I mean, if you start thinking about like the Kentucky side, Ohio side down there, oh, Sword not, Point, yeah. Newport. Don't go. Yeah. You don't like go that's right down on the river. I can't deal with that type of anxiety anymore. <laughs> like I'm at the point of my age where I'm like, I'm too Needs old for this Needs a puppy treat. Yeah. I'm, I can't deal with that type of vibe. I don't like to be in that crowd. I just don't. 
I'm always wanting, I'm like, I want a water. I want a fucking zero. I want, like, a snack. It's like. You're buying shit because you're tripping? Yeah, like, I need to, like, pack a bag, you know, and a cooler. Like, I can't. I don't know. It's just too many people. I don't like it. Nowhere to really sit down. Nowhere to, like, take a good clean piss. Nowhere to take a good shit if you need to shit. I, I just don't like that vibe. I don't like it. I really don't. Something about it just kind of not good for me. So, yeah, we went and uh, went and got the supper and then watched it on television. Hmm. Not the same. Yeah. You Ain't watched it on TV? On TV. Nope. What did you do? Watch a movie. He's like, fuck. <laughs> What's that like? That's like New Year's saying, fuck the ball. Let's just do something yeah. else. Yeah. Fuck it. I wasn't going down in that shit first. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. I was like, fireworks here tonight? Hmm. What time is it? 9 11? Hmm. I don't want to go. Mm. Smart call. Made some tuna salad. Damn. That's not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. EBN, man. Supposedly, I heard it was the best one yet. The drone show prior to was pretty crazy. They did some crazy shit. They put a little mini Joe Burrow up there or something. They did all types of shit. Put the frog up there, all of it. I don't even know how you do a drone show. That's fucking different. That's that's high tech. Yeah, they did. I remember they did it for a fireworks Friday at the Reds game one time. I don't know if they do it every Friday, but yeah, they had a. Fu- Drone show there too. It's crazy. I don't know how they do that. I don't either. That's like one of them would just knock each other out. Like, yeah. Good year though. Good year for the EBN man. Especially a good old time. I'm sure. People had their fun. People had their trapped bottles. in Cincinnati. Mm. Unless yeah. you go up to Mount Adams or some shit. For real, even up there is probably fucked with traffic. Probably. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Too that's bad. Why. We got uh, a lot going. I don't mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, the one guest I just didn't hit him up. He didn't go to work today. He was too drunk, so <laughs> we just didn't have him. He's never coming on. No. He ain't. See if he picks up the phone. You could try him. Oh, I know he ain't gonna answer the phone call now. <laughs> There's no what way. What do you think he's doing? Right this second? Drink. If he sees you calling, he probably won't answer. Or bored. If you call from like an unknown, he might be like, oh, who's yeah. this? Yeah, let's get it on the secondary. All right. I'll just call him from my number. He'll be like, who the fuck is this? All right. All right. We'll do secondary. <laughs> just just cause we don't know what this hey, guy's Nippy. capable of. Your call has been Jeez. Jeez. call again. He might just be on D and D. Your call has been Damn, he's on do not Danny mode. <laughs> Your call has been oh, he's yeah. gonna get like twenty calls. <laughs> like I said, he's getting fired tomorrow. So the boss is firing Dang. him, is what he said. He just thinks it's his boss right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I said he's getting fired. So hey. <laughs> That's Dang. all. That's all on him. Tried to give him a call. Damn. About to call these people like I got a missed number. <laughs> all right, all right. We're just killing time. Yeah, we just fucking around on them. Hello. <laughs> Was that? Hello. Cameron, give me a call. See ya, George. <laughs> See ya, George. <laughs> All right. All right. We're here. We'll see you guys next time. Uh-huh. Peace. Peace. Why did you block me?